What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Ninja, and today we have to get to level 56. So, Awakening drops tomorrow, and so I gotta get to 56. I'm hoping this video can still come out at 10, um, but if it comes out a little later, you obviously know why. It's because... I'm not quite at level 56 yet, but we're going to start here at the Abandoned, abandoned Iron Mine. Um, I'm going to farm this for a little while. I'll do frequent check-ins probably every 20% or so. Um, I'll probably be moving around locations a fair amount because I need to be entertained. Um, this might be the only part with the face cam just because I'm going to be using, I'm going to be watching YouTube and Netflix, and so there's potential that I unplug my webcam so that I can do that but we'll see I don't know it, it probably probably will have my face cam but just a heads up but yeah I'm just gonna be farming this and seeing exactly okay so this is okay I got to where I wanted to go wait hold on I gotta remember my rotation oh yeah I gotta go all the way over here and start over here and hope I don't get interrupted. How much percent do these guys give me? I don't think they give me that much, which is the tragic thing. Eh, they give me a decent amount. They give me enough. For as easy as this rotation is, they give me enough. So, yeah. I'm going to farm. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Can I get... Hello, game. I'm just stunlocked. Hello. What a way to start this video. I got absolutely stunlocked into oblivion. Oh my gosh, game. Can we not do this? Oh my gosh. I just wanna I just wanna just wanna farm in peace. Not get stun locked to death. Alright, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing so that I don't get stun locked. We're just gonna we're rotating around the enemies. Okay, okay. What a what a start. What a start to this episode. But yeah, like I said, we'll do frequent check-ins. So for now, I am going to start the farm and see. I probably won't stay here for too extraordinarily long because it's not the greatest XP. There are better places out there that uh, I will head to after I get done with this. But I want to go up here so I can do the outro without getting interrupted. So, or outro, the transition. Yeah, so I'm going to pop... XP combat scrolls and whatnot, and we're going to see how this goes. And we're back, guys. So you can see we're at 50%, and it's only been an hour of farming at, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The Abandoned Iron Mine, our good old trusty spot. And in one hour, this is what I've got. I've threw away three Vam Braces just regular ones and one and armor because they were too heavy. I wanted to get to 3,000 of these before I took a break. Uh, so I'm going to take a quick like half hour, 45 minute break and then come back and finish this up. I'll show the last little bit before we hit level 56, probably the last 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'll do that in the video. I also threw away a bunch of broken lumber because it's not worth a whole lot. So I just keep tossing it. <laughs> um... We got five Blackstone Armors, two Weapons, two Forbidden Books, which is really nice. Uh, got some Ancient Silver Coins, and we got a plus 14 Callus um, Crescent Pendulum, which is really nice. Uh, probably the best thing that I was able to get um, while farming. And we got a bunch of this, you know, just base armor uh, that should be able to sell. We also got another Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, with my luck being so awful on the Asula's Ring, um, I'm happy to get this. But for now, we got these to trade in. We can trade in three and get three gold bars for an extra three million silver. Um, so I'm going to head back to town, sell all this gear off, take a quick break, come back, and we'll wrap up this episode getting to 56 so that we can do Awakening tomorrow. So I will see you guys in just a moment. And we're back. So we're at 98.5%. My double XP did not actually make it this far with me because my sword broke and I didn't know it. So I farmed for like 5 or 10 minutes with it broken. 
I was like fighting a group and I'm like, oh my gosh, why aren't these guys dying? And so I farmed it and I kept farming it and I kept farming it. Is my TV muted? Okay, it is. It sounded like my TV wasn't muted. Um, I kept farming and I kept farming. I was like, what is happening? No one's dying. So I was like, okay, maybe something's just messed up. Because it said like, please try again on something. And I was like, yeah, maybe something's messed up. And so I went to another area and I was like, okay, let's try it here. And I tried it there and it didn't work. And it was a big old waste of time. But the positive is, is wait until you see this loot that I've got this time. Oh, it's going to be a great end of this episode. It's going to be fan-freaking-tastic when we go back and turn everything in. But we're almost there. We're at 99% now. Farming was not too bad here. It took about two hours, as you could tell by the title of the video. Two hours at uh, Abandoned Iron Mines. And it was a fun farm. I, I had no problem with this. I ran into two other people here. One person came to fight the boss over there. They weren't any issue. Um, they were actually pretty nice about it. Or pretty good, like, had pretty good etiquette um, about it. They kind of, they saw I was farming. They went to the area over here and farmed. And I kind of had some good etiquette back to them. And I went straight over there and skipped uh, the next part that we farm. Um, I'm going to do one full rotation of this before we quit. Um, but yeah, it, that was, that was a nice interaction. Um, because like right now I killed this person. They were over there fighting those guys that were going to right now. And he, uh, he just kind of passed by and we, we, uh, we didn't have to murder each other. Uh, the other person was kind of annoying. They kept like trying to fight me for spots. I didn't really want to PVP him, but I, I could have. I was a higher level than them. I just chose not to. I just chose to leave them alone. Which I kind of regret. But then they kind of got bored of fighting me for kills because I was clearly stronger. <laughs> like, like they were about five minutes away from me, like, just absolutely slaughtering them because I was getting annoyed. So then they left, and that was the end of it. That's the only people that have been here. And that person that was here annoying me didn't come over here. They only stayed over there. They didn't actually come up this hill. I don't think this hill is really part of most people's rotations of farming this area. I like it, though. I also like doing this now. Oops. I just like throwing the uh, the kunais out of the air. It's like, it's like my favorite thing now for this character. I'm excited. We got this all done. We got Awakening. I'm happy. Um... I'm trying to be, you know, work a little bit harder, be a little bit more dedicated to my, to like grinding on this game because obviously with my sorceress being 56 only right now, clearly I have not been dedicated to grinding stuff out on, uh, on my different characters, but I feel like did a two hour grind today. That really wasn't that bad. Um, the experience now for this area at 56 is really bad, but I think everything just gets really bad at 56. Because 56, you get your awakening weapon. There's not much. I mean, there's stuff to level up to, obviously, but there's not a ton. But here we go. Take a look at this inventory. I am super excited about this. Let's grab these. Oops, didn't grab my loyalty. Okay. Here we go. So take a peek at this. None of that. That doesn't matter. We got... T oh my gosh. You Really? Really, dude? You had to come up here? Get out of here. Well, we got another pair of Zara shoes. We got two more Asula's Crimson Eye necklaces, but the biggest thing is right here. Five. Five Asula's Weakened Magic necklaces. So that means we can go ahead and try to upgrade my Asula's Crimson Eye necklace. Um, I'm actually, I saw I'm at 2,700. I'm actually going to try to farm this real quick. Um, I will turn in the 3,000 and I'll catch you guys at... Uh, back at Altanova, where we'll go ahead and try to upgrade my Asula's necklace uh, higher. Oh, look, we got another As another Asula's Crimson Eye necklace. So that's nice. I want to get plenty of them so I can try to get an Asula's Crimson Eye necklace to, like, max almost. And so I don't have to worry about on other characters. You know, if this is an area I like farming, though, so I don't really have an issue if I didn't pull a bunch of... Um, Asula's Crimson Eye necklaces, but I did, so here we are. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so I'm going to farm these, and we're back. So, 
time to repair our stuff. We do have some stuff to probably... No, wait, we don't actually... Oh, we got to get this stuff out of our inventory right here. Um, I'll go ahead and list all this stuff. You guys don't need to see that. But what I do want to do before we wrap this video up is to go ahead and try and upgrade our Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace. Now, I actually... I actually need to get on my sorceress to do that because Okay, and we're back guys. So I'm gonna have to wrap up the video here. I don't think you guys care too much I'll update it in the next video because that'll be awakening. So check back tomorrow to see the upgrades for the um, Asula's Crimson Eye Necklace. I have all my advice of the Valks on my Sorceress So I'll do that off camera later tonight and I might fail stack a little bit to try and do that um with fail stacks that aren't just my advice of the Valks, I might fail stack on my own and make sure I do this correctly. I don't want to rush it, which is what would happen if I do it in this video. So I'm just going to call it an episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I don't know when. I'll, I'll probably upload it nice and early. Um, I'll probably upload it around right when I get up, get on, and do the awakening, if that's how it works. If it's out when I get on, that's what I'll do. So keep an eye out early tomorrow for the video for the ninja going over the awakening quest. So I'll see you all then. Peace.